guys, it's me Soda. Welcome back to another video. Today I just kind of want to talk a little bit about um, pet stores and fish, specifically beta fish and pet stores, and my thoughts kind of on like buying fish from chain pet stores, and kind of explaining why I think that we all should avoid buying animals uh, in pet stores because specifically I'm talking about fish in this video because fish keeping is one of my big hobbies and I feel like uh, when it comes to fish people don't really know as much about them or respect them as much as other animals um, because they're small and just seen as disposable and stuff and I wanted to talk about it uh, especially because lately this past year or two I've been seeing a ton of TikToks uh, of people rescuing fish from a pet store, which I have a lot of thoughts on and I just I want you to watch the video before commenting if you want to comment something about that because I'm gonna explain why I have the thoughts on that that I have. <laughs> I feel like it's actually become kind of a trend for people to buy a beta fish and to make a video about how they rescued it, which <sighs> I don't want you to attack any of those people because I think a lot of those people are actually doing a really great job at taking care of those beta fish. I've seen a lot of really good videos of people, you know, finding really sick fish in a pet store that are like miserable and they're dying and they do actually rescue them and stuff and, you know, basically bring them back to life because those fish are in terrible condition. However, I just feel like it's really important to like not encourage people to give these pet stores their money because when you're buying a fish from these chain pet stores like Petco and PetSmart you're just kind of encouraging them to keep selling them and if this you know keeps becoming a trend of people buying beta fish to rescue them they're just gonna keep selling more so I just you know I don't really like the trend for that reason I'm all for rescuing fish obviously but there are ways you can do it without giving a pet store money um, and I'm gonna talk about that so like I said I, I Lots of TikToks about it. I don't want you guys to comment rude things in their videos or anything like that because I don't think these people are like wrong or anything. Um, I just think maybe they don't really realize that they're just giving the pet store money and by like posting on TikTok they're encouraging other people to do the same thing. I just think they don't really realize that and what an influence um, these TikToks have on people. Now when I'm talking about pet stores I'm really referring to chain pet stores and specifically American pet stores and I feel like I need to say that because I live in New Zealand and here pet stores are way different to pet stores in America. Um, we have some chain pistols here, but most of them, at least the ones where I live in my city, don't sell much animals. Usually they just sell some fish, um, but not even much fish to be honest. Sometimes my local ones will have cats that they get from rescues and stuff, um, so they, you know, can advertise them for adoption at the pet store. Like, the pet stores locally near me are, like, really good. Um, I'm very lucky to live in a country where, like, most of our pet stores are very good, much better than the US it seems. Which doesn't mean there aren't bad ones, I've been to bad ones too, but most of the ones locally to me are really good. Most of them, the only animals they sell is fish, and they actually like give you proper advice if you're planning on buying a fish, they tell you about cycling, and they can't sell you a fish if you don't have a cycle fish tank. That's the norm here. Um, some pistols might not do that, but mostly they do that. They also don't sell fish bowls in my country, it's just like not a thing. I'm very grateful for that, um, but I know that's not really a thing in other countries specifically. The US, um, where most of my viewers come from, so I feel like it's important that I share what it's like here, you know? Um, just so you guys can get an idea of what it's like in other countries, because surprisingly the US pet stores seem to be a little bit behind when it comes to uh, like animals well-being, which is surprising because like US is such an influential big country. And you know, maybe that will change one day. I think that part of you know, starting that change is that we start um, really talking about the problems with buying animals from those chain pet stores in America, spreading awareness about it, and what you can do instead of buying these sick fish and giving them money. So if you want to get a fish from a pet store, not everyone has to rescue. Rescuing can be a lot more work, uh, also it can be quite difficult with fish because when fish are sick and you rescue a very sick fish, it's very hard to get a fish to recover from being like super ill, but there are good pistols out there. Like small locally owned fish stores, there's a lot of them here in New Zealand, so I assume there would be a lot in America too. I know that Aquarium Co-op is pretty good, I watch their YouTube videos. They have like a physical store in America as well, I'm not sure where though, but 
they are really cool um, and there's probably a lot more like that a lot of these small local fish stores are usually a lot better not always of course you know you got to do your own research because every store will be different um, but a lot of times those small little local fish stores are the ones that really care the most because they're you know run by actual like fish hobbyists people that are really passionate about fish keeping so I really recommend you look in and see if there's any that are local to you if there are you can see if they have social media usually they will um, and you can look on their profile, you can talk to them, go, like talk to them in store, ask them about you know what their practices are, what their quarantine stuff's like. And you can tell pretty quickly if someone is like genuinely like passionate about fish, you know. Often these local pet stores are a lot more careful about like, you know, selling sick fish to people and stuff. Um, when it comes to chain pet stores, like Petco and PetSmart, just some examples, um, you know, sometimes they will have employees that genuinely like really care and want to give you what they can. But unfortunately, a lot of employees don't really get the proper training for a lot of the animals. And I'm not blaming them either. Like, I get it. You need a job, but you need to earn your money. I totally get that. I don't think it's like the employee's fault. I think it's the, the company's responsibility. But a lot of these companies don't really actually care about the animals. They're just here to make sales. So they don't really teach the employees actual proper care of the animals. So please don't bash the employees either because it's not them, it's the company. But anyways, um, a lot of them, you know, they're just there to sell stuff and they probably will tell you to buy this fish bowl and just add some water drops to make the water fine. They usually won't tell you about cycling a fish tank. You will see their range of beta fish in these tiny little cups that you can choose from where most of them are probably half dead. Some of them might already be dead if they haven't taken them off the shelf yet. These cups are absolutely shocking to me. I cannot believe this is a thing that is just the norm in a lot of countries. Because this is not a thing in my country, which is why it's much more of a shock to me. Uh, I've done a few vlogs going to like my local pet stores um, and showing like the beta racks that pet stores have here. They have these like glass little racks with the fish in it where they all have little filtration and everything this is the norm here like this is normal obviously they're not like five gallons each or anything because I don't really expect that from a pet store they're not gonna stay in there but I think these beta racks are great for pet stores much better than cups usually they'll have like some plants in there and you know filtration and stuff so and I whenever I show that on some of my videos I get a lot of comments that are like wow those setups are so cool because I just kind of forget that that's not the norm in a lot of countries and usually you might see these beta racks at local fish stores that actually care about their fish but not in chain pet stores in uh, America. Beta fish do enjoy having a lot of swimming room. Being in small tanks they can become stressed and they uh, often are too small to fit the things they need like a, a heater and filtration and hiding places and you know plants and stuff. They still need things like that enrichment you know still a thing that fish need and beta fish you know they have decent lifespans they can live to like three sometimes four years sometimes longer but it's more normal these days for them to only live to about one to two years because they're kept in such terrible conditions and due to bad breeding which another thing you'll get in chain pet stores is often a lot of the fish are severely inbred so they won't live as long they just have really bad genetics um, but a lot of like, you know, local small fish stores might breed their own fish So you will have a better chance at a fish living longer from those pet stores Obviously, like I said, depends on which one I'm not saying every small locally owned pet store is like good But there are a lot a lot of good ones that you can find and that's kind of up to you to do your own research on that pet store You know, I only know which ones are good local to me um, Which isn't very helpful because I live in New Zealand and most of you guys don't <laughs> and I know it's really hard going into a chain pet store and seeing these betas miserable in these little cups. A lot of them can be very sick, half dead, you know, lying at the bottom of the container on their side, or fin rot, you know. Um, and that really sucks and I totally understand like the want to rescue that animal. If you can find a way to get that fish without paying, I'm just saying, okay? I'm not necessarily telling you to steal, but if you find a fish in a pet store that is really sick, that is like, you know, on the verge of dying, sometimes, if you're lucky, you can talk to an employee or a manager or whatever at the store and they might give you the fish for free because it's sick and they really shouldn't be selling sick fish, like that's just really...
ditty, honestly. You shouldn't have to pay money for a sick fish. Like, that's ridiculous. Sometimes pet stores might try to um, help sick fish, but usually I think they just take them out back and wait for them to die. And when you're giving them money, that money goes towards the next fish shipment, so they're just gonna get some more and replace it, and there's gonna be even more sick fish. I totally get why people do it, you know? I I'm not like blaming these people that just want to rescue a fish. I totally get it, okay? But we need to stop giving these pet stores money for these sick animals that are dying. That's really the only way we can stop them from selling them or at least improve the way that they, you know, display them and stuff. I did hear that um, I think some states in the US banned like one gallon fish tanks, which is a start, but that still, you can still get two gallon three gallon that's still way too small but it's something and you know maybe that gives us a little hope that they will start doing something about it and i think we could make a difference if we stop buying them stop telling people to buy them imagine if we all just started stealing fish and <laughs> all the fish just started disappearing they can't they can't prosecute all of us if we all start stealing fish right now if you want to rescue a fish in a way that doesn't support pet stores um something you can do which i always highly encourage is look on places like facebook even though you're not meant to sell animals on Facebook, I always see fish on Facebook Marketplace um, in terrible conditions. Usually goldfish, but you might find uh, beta fish as well. Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, or Facebook fish groups. There might be people trying to rehome their fish. Craigslist, or anything similar to Craigslist that you have in your country. We don't have Craigslist here in New Zealand, but we have Trade Me, which is similar. I have uh, gotten rescue fish from Trade Me before and Rescue X Lols, but whatever you have in your country, like Craigslist, you know, you can find heaps of animals in Craigslist that people are trying to rehome. Sometimes I think people might even rehome animals for free on there, um, but I think usually people ask for like a rehoming fee. I highly recommend you do that. Look in those places instead. Um, if you want to buy fish from somewhere that's not a pet store, like I said, local fish stores that actually take good care of their fish and actually care about their fish and also breeders. There are really good fish breeders out there. You can join some local fish like Facebook groups, that's usually, uh, I'm in a few like local fish groups and um, sometimes you'll find some breeders on there. They can show you pictures of their setups and stuff if you want to make sure it's, you know, good obviously. There's plenty out there, plenty of good people and often if you get a fish from a good breeder, they will live a lot longer and be a lot healthier than the fish from pet stores because fish from pet stores are so poorly bred and a good you know fish breeder will be breeding them properly and um, not inbreeding or anything like that so make sure of course you do your own research on that specific breeder if you want to get fish from a breeder again that's kind of your responsibility to like make sure they are ethical and all that stuff you might even find a fish rescue not super common for fish but I've even seen some fish rescues in my country, so you know, you could look into it, see if that's a thing. Believe me, there are options. There are better options than supporting chain pet stores. And I just want to get this word out there, um, because I've just seen it so much lately on TikTok, and, and I think it's important that we really stop encouraging people to give money to these pet stores that are just abusing their animals. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it could be helpful to you if you're wanting to learn more about this. Let me know your thoughts, share your thoughts in the comments, uh, and uh, let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!